I'm Jimmy Wilson, and ever since I took my first breath underwater, my mission has been to become a leader in changing the face of the science and diving world to one that is more inclusive. My journey to promote diversity within aquatics and scuba began when I saw a scuba diver underwater for the first time while visiting my local aquarium in Cleveland, Ohio. I admit I was completely enthralled at the prospect of becoming a diver myself, yet despite my overt fascination, for a long while I remember dismissing the possibility and telling myself it was something I inherently couldn't do. Of course, I've now come to learn that was never true, as I have traversed fairly far in the world of diving. In full circle fashion, I was the first African American to do a public dive at the Cleveland Aquarium. I've become a notable member of several organizations including Diving with a Purpose, Black and Marine Sciences, and the National Association of Black Scuba Divers. I've dived all over the world promoting diversity on different platforms and became the first African American to win the Our World Underwater Scholarship Society Rolex Award, which has allowed me to become a safety free diver, an apprentice cave diver, an ice diver, and a scuba instructor. Still, despite all my achievements, I had to ask myself in retrospect why my first thought to this idea was such a negative one. I discovered the answer was because I had never seen anyone that looked like me in diving. As a society, we're often inundated with misconceptions that can manifest in the form of racial biases, and these biases become especially prevalent when regarding the ability and participation of African Americans in water-related disciplines. Throughout the United States alone, 65% of current divers are Caucasian, while every other demographic represents less than 20% of the diving community. These numbers perpetuate the idea that diving and underwater endeavors are a monocultural practice which simply is not true. However, I realized that I, like so many others, had become a victim of this mentality, and because of that I didn't believe in myself. When I became conscious of my own thinking, I was appalled and vowed that I never wanted anyone, regardless of their socioeconomic, cultural, or racial background to have those same thoughts. It was this epiphany that inspired me to defy expectations and be the change I longed to see. Since then, it has been my personal mission to dispel these fallacies by presenting myself as a well-rounded role model for other potential minority divers. With that in mind, I plan to one day create my own organization focused on endorsing minority students interested in the underwater world. My mission will be to become a better diving leader and instructor so that I may foster more diverse and erudite members of the diving community, disrupt damaging stereotypes, and provide a plethora of first-hand learning opportunities for minority students that might not have any chance to experience the underwater world otherwise. It is my hope that I will not only diversify the face of the science and diving world, but will keep my vow to ensure that those around me never stop believing in themselves.